in projectile you must have studied lot of things time of flight range maximum height but rarely in projectile we study its arc length so here we'll find length of this curve or arc length of this projectile now we know that at any time t x coordinate of this projectile it is given by u cos theta into t and its y coordinate is given by u sin theta into t minus half g t square so what we are doing is we are trying to find arc length of this projectile using parameter t so we have to find this arc length for its entire time of flight and time of flight is simply 2u sin theta upon g basically for time of flight we put y as 0 and then simply you'll get time as 2u sin theta upon g now basically we'll find dx upon dt now dx upon dt is u cos theta and dy upon dt is u sin theta minus gt now we can write length of this projectile as this integral from 0 to this time of flight and then under root of u cos theta square plus u sin theta minus gt square into dt now we need to solve this integral and what we'll do is we'll take u cos theta common we'll write l as u cos theta and then this integral from 0 to t and then under root of 1 plus i'll be this 10 theta minus gt upon u cos theta whole square into dt now what we'll do is we'll let this 10 theta minus gt upon u cos theta as some variable say z now we'll try and find its limit now if t is 0 then the value of z is 10 theta and if t is this time of flight then the value of z will be 10 theta minus g upon u cos theta into time of flight and time of flight is 2u sin theta upon g now g will cancel u will cancel so it will be this minus 10 theta so we can write this l as u cos theta and then this integral from 10 theta to minus 10 theta under root of 1 plus z square into now we have to replace dt with dz now here if we differentiate this we'll get minus g upon u cos theta dt and it'll be equal to dz so it'll be dz upon minus g into u cos theta and we write this as u cos theta square now we'll take this minus sign then we can interchange the limits so we can write this l as u square cos square theta upon g and then this integral from minus 10 theta to plus 10 theta into under root of 1 plus z square into dz now this is an even function so we can write l equals 2u square cos square theta upon g into this integral from 0 to 10 theta under root of 1 plus z square into dz now this is l and this is 2u square cos square theta upon g and integral of under root of x square plus a square is z under root 1 plus z square plus a square upon 2 log z plus under root of z 
z square plus 1 this integral from 0 to 10 theta now this is u square cos square theta upon g into now this is 10 theta 10 theta into 1 plus 10 square theta secant theta so it will be sin theta upon cos square theta log 10 theta plus secant theta minus now if z is 0 this is 0 and this is log 1 which also is 0 so basically length of projectile is given by u square cos square theta upon g sin theta into cos square theta plus log 10 theta plus secant theta and if we want instead of writing it in terms of log we can write it in terms of sine hyperbolic so it will be sine hyperbolic inverse of 10 theta and this is the formula for arc length of a projectile and since this formula is complicated we don't study it but proving this formula is definitely a delight